During this weekend's sales tax holiday on emergency supplies, the controller's office is expecting Texans to save around $1.8 million. That's more than ever before. That is in part due to heightened awareness since the winter storm in February left millions of people in the dark. Our Maggie Glenn reports on what items you can stock up on tax-free starting tomorrow. Austin Outdoor Power is prepping for a rush this weekend. And then you got this. Hatchets, fuel containers, and the generators are the big hit for us. There are three categories for the tax break. Small items like first aid kits under $75, emergency ladders under $300, and generators under $3,000. Jeff Odin says before the winter storm in February, the store sold all of its 40 generators within hours, something Jeff wishes he had bought for himself that week. And I said, nah, it's not going to be that bad. He says even though you may only use the generator a couple times a year, it makes the world of a difference in an emergency. But when you need it, you better have one because I went for five and a half days without an air, uh, any heat in my house. I was one of those guys and I'm going to tell you I felt like I was dying. Saving 8% on these smaller items like fuel containers might not seem like you're saving that much money. But when you're spending $3,000 on a generator like this, you're going to be saving $240 this weekend. Winter storms aren't the only thing that can knock out your electricity. Tornadoes can, lightning can, hurricanes can, hailstorms can. You also still get the same tax break with online purchases this weekend, but make sure you're watching your total. Think about the shipping and handling costs, and if that takes the price over that price point we mentioned earlier, then you no longer qualify for the tax exempt status of that item. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. The Comptroller's Office says the tax break should kick in automatically when you're buying these items online if for some reason you get a sales tax charge. There's a form you can fill out and submit to the Comptroller for reimbursement.